Welcome everyone to the demo of our XMOS platform. XMOS is an explanatory model steering system for collaboration between domain experts and AI. This is an example of our healthcare focused XMOS system where healthcare experts can share their domain knowledge to steer prediction models. Now let us log into the system. So our design of the XMOS system consists of two main parts, an explanation dashboard and data configuration approaches for explanatory model steering. Now this is an example of our multifaceted explanation dashboard, which combines different types of data centric as well as model centric explanation. So it consists of the following types of explanations, top decision rules, which provides certain decision rules for making the prediction decision for diabetic and non-diabetic patients. And these are some of the rules which are generated by the decision rule generation algorithms. Then we have the key insights. The key insights are certain information which are generated from the data set itself. These insights are meant to highlight some interesting patterns within the data set based on which domain experts can actually make a decision. Next, we have the important risk factors. Here, we can see the importance of the various predictor variables which are used for making the prediction. Now, we have further divided the risk factors or the predictor variables into actionable factors and non-actionable factors. Actionable factors are the factors which can be changed or controlled by uh, the users and the non-actionable factors are the ones which cannot be controlled by the users. Then we have the data quality information. Here we can see the different kind of data issues which might exist in the data set. And based on the data issues, we can actually get an idea of the total estimated data quality score. The data set that we have used for this system seems to have a quality of 59.3%, which is like a moderate data quality. Additionally, we provide information about the data density distribution. Data density distribution shows the overall density of the various predictor variables which are involved. It also shows certain extreme values which are present within the data. Now, based on this information, we help domain experts to steer prediction models through certain configuration approaches. Now, let us take a look at the various configuration approaches which we have provided in our XMOS platform. So, we have provided two different types of data configuration approaches, the manual configuration and the automated configuration. In the manual configuration, we provide three different type of uh, features for using this configuration approach. Using this, domain experts can filter or select certain features or predictor variables which they think is important and unselect certain fact factors which they think is not important. For example, for this particular predictor variable, two-hour serum insulin, if uh, it seems to be corrupt with a lot of zero values, which might not be practically possible, and that's where domain expert can think of unselecting this particular factor. Additionally, if they think for predicting uh, type 2 diabetes, if tricep skin fold thickness is not so much important, they can also unselect this particular factor. If they want to uh, filter a certain variable, for example, for diastolic blood pressure, we see that there is some uh, zero values, which again might not be practically feasible and it could be introduced because of the data collection process or maybe some mistake in reporting the data. That's where domain experts can apply their knowledge and filter the certain uh, values. Similarly, they can make other changes if required and do save and retrain. So once save and retrain is pressed, based on their configured data, based on their feedback, the model is retrained and we regenerate the explanations on the configured data set.
and after that we see that the explanations as well as the model accuracy and everything has been uh, you know kind of generated again and we see some improvement in the model score and some changes in the data quality score as well based on the data configuration so if required domain experts can also reset all the values to default if they want to perform these manual configurations again so we'll just quickly reset these values to default And we get the original version of the explanation dashboard, which was trained on the original version of the data set once the values are reset. Similarly, let's say if they want to make a change which is extremely drastic and which impacts the training data size, we issue certain warnings. So these are certain data guardrails we have provided to avoid some abrupt changes to the training data, which can further impact the machine learning model. Another type of data configuration option that we have given is the automated configuration. Now this functionality is introduced especially for uh, domain experts who have very less time in manually configuring the data, for example, healthcare experts. Uh, and for them, we have uh, listed out the typical data quality issues which we have observed in the training data. Now, these are potential data issues, which still requires domain knowledge to actually fine tune and go for the auto corrections. So what we do is we list out these potential uh, you know, data issues and we also show them how it can impact the prediction model. In the automated data configuration, the system explains the potential data issues and the automated detection algorithms are used to detect the presence of these potential data issues. The overall quality score that we have seen in the explanation dashboard is measured based on the presence of these data quality issues. So our attempt of explaining the data quality issues involves estimating the impact of these data quality uh, issues. We also show the before and after correction of these data quality issues with the help of uh, some visualization. We also try to describe the issue and how its correction can potentially impact the model performance. Likewise, these are some list of data quality issues which we have observed in the data set. So we show the impact uh, as well as how the correction process can improve the overall prediction model. So domain experts would need to select the data issues which they want to go for autocorrection and once they select they just need to autocorrect and retrain based on their feedback the model will be retrained after correcting the potential data issues and the model performance as well as the explanations will be regenerated as we can see that after doing the automated correction the overall data quality score seems to be much higher now the extreme values which we have observed before in the data set uh, is no more after the corrections. However, the prediction accuracy seems to have dropped a little bit, but the overall model as well as the prediction system could be more trustworthy because of the improvement in the data quality score. So this is how our Exmos platform allows domain experts to share their domain knowledge with the help of these different type of explanations and data configuration approaches and steer prediction models.